The Bible inasema kwamba David atas haku amefikiria. You know mambo mengine inatokea because the Holy Ghost is at work. Akaamuka akasema haya. Nani amebaki katika ile nyumba ya ya kina Jonathan? Ya kina Sauli. So ni muonyeshe mema ya Bwana because of Jonathan. Who is who is remaining? I want to show somebody the goodness of God. Hata kama hiyo nyumba imesaulika. Hata kama hiyo nyumba watu wasema imeisha. Nimesikia kitu kanisukuma somebody in that family should be shown the fullness of God's good goodness. Ikasemekana can you imagine the only person remaining katika hiyo family hallelujah ambao ni mtu kiwete aliyekuwa anaitwa Mephibosethi huyo hata kama ni kiwete na anakaa kama ametupwa ndiye amebaki aliyetu haraka and this what shall be done hata kama hiyo nyumba ni kama nyumba imeisha mananiwa huyo nitamrejeshea mashaba yote ya Sauli Amen hata kama kuna shaba ambao walinyang'anywa iko karibu na state house atapewa hata kama kuna nyumba iko state center atapewa jamaa mfasadi alipoletwa alikuwa kiwete alikuwa ameangushwa na maid alikuwa mtu ambaye amekata haogi ametupwa David akamwambia now brother wewe utajiri wote uliokuwa wa soro from today ni wako akastuliwa na baraka mimi naomba tu msturiwe na baraka unajua kuna kitu kinaitwa the days of refreshment wapendwa roho mtakatifu ni roho wa kuburudisha holy ghost is spirit of refreshment roho bwana ni roho wa kuamka wande akwambie hallelujah you know you know i remember one time kwa dada moja nilimpata amekuja kwa ibada we were dedicating children and you have so many children almost 200 yeye yeah, akaja na wawili watoto wawili ameshika nikamuliza my sister kwani ulizaa lini because mimi namjua miaka yote tumehubiri ye yeah, hazai hazai watoto ni shida akambia bishop tulikutana kwa stairs hata hiyo sana imebaki pale hai Oh, dear, the remaining part of the old system. Ile stairs. Eh. Ndiko na pre-wedding. Nikamuliza dada habari yako. Wewe ulizaa, unajua ile uchokosi. Unajua sometimes sisi hii mafuta yetu na uchokosi. Wewe ulizaa. Kasema ya sijaza. Eda wiki hii pata mimba haraka. Ile hiyo. I said that peke yake was fine. Alienda ameolewa that week account chief akabia sasa bishop sasa nazaa sasa inazidi sasa kile kiko ni kuweka break wanakuja haraka sana kaza kitabu fikirie si juna yake ngine haleluya ah wapendwa kuna kitu umekaa nacho cha aibu na kilianza zamani mpaka ukaitanishwa na hiyo jambo na ukafanya conclusion I sense something in the spiritual realm. Bingo. Bingo. Titi cha enzi kuna mjadara umetokea. Oh, and I'm included. Woo! Something has happened about my life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, hey hallelujah. You see one hakuna mtu amezaliwa hapa the way mnajiona ambaye hana haki bila za bwana na hakuna mtu 
hana baraka kamili ya utukufu hakuna mtu hapa bele za bwana hana ukamilifu wa baraka ukiangalia biblia vizuri katika efeso chapter 1 verse 2 inasema hivi na atukuzwe atukuzwe i think we are going to bring back the script now eh, naona watu ziko haya or want to bring a better one na atukuzwe baba wa bwana wetu Yesu Kristo aliyetubariki na baraka zote katika heaven realm amen kuna watu wanakosea sema ati aliyetubariki na baraka zote za kiroho inasema aliyetubariki na baraka zote katika ulimwengu wa roho kwa Kiingereza inasema heaven realm No kiada chapter hiyo chapter 2 ya Ephesians inapoelezea heaven race inasema mahali tumeketishwa na Kristo kwenye mkono wa kuume baba wa, wa, wa kuume Mungu baba in heaven race katika Ephesians 2 it describes our position and organization and program of heaven race Our heaven race is the right heart of God the Father where we are seated with Christ far above all principalities and powers that's where we are hallelujah but under ya Yesu kushinda kifo na kutukuka juu ya enzi yote aliona vyema tuitanishwe na kiti chake na akasema waliokoka hata kama wanakura omena na nakura ngege na murenda na mudhokoi kama wengine katika ulimwengu wa Yesu mahali ameketi we have an office with him we are sharing an office with him Can you hear this phrase? Office ya Yesu. Mahali amekaa kwenye mkono wa kuuma wa Mungu. We are sharing that office with Jesus. Hey, hallelujah. Naweza kuwa kwa cross jameni na kemea mapepo. Niingie kwa hiyo ofisi, niongee na mapepo niko kwa hiyo ofisi. Naweza kuwa na kuombea dada uko na growth kwa kichwa niingie kwa hiyo ofisi niambie mapepo na magonjwa siongei kama bishop wa bahati siongei kama mzee wa kule Muranga na kule Kikuyuni na kule Ukabani I now speak from this office the right hand of God the Father mahali nimeketishwa na Kristo I'm now speak Speaking from that office, Hallelujah! What a praise time has come. You praise from that office. Amen. Hey, Hallelujah! It's possible. It's possible. There's a man that called Jesus here. Can I call your leader? Can you do it? Kukawa, a very strong witch. It requires you in Mwanza, Tanzania. No one could stop the witch. Even the ashes. Na ashes mwe mnaomba sana. Nasema ashes mwe mnaomba sana. Kuna maeneo nafika that if you don't pray you are no longer an asha. You are an asha by badge but not a, a practical asha. Kama wakati huo sasa that man came alikuja a witch na akaodoa ashes on the way no one could touch him anatokea unajikuta umeondoka alipoenda pale kwa mwenye kusaka kiranda alisema don't worry let him come the man did not stop praying the organ but aliendea kucheza the witch alipofika pale bere was struck by power because the man was not just playing in that altar he was playing in the office 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 hiyo 
Haleluya. 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 In Jesus name. Haleluya. And today I have an announcement. Watu mlio kwa ibada hii I sense the spirit. Kuna kitu kinaitwa kukubukwa. 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 Nani amebaki katika maono ya kanisa ya bahati? Nani amebaki angali ameshikilia maombi? Nani amebaki angali ameshika agano amekataa nalo? Nani amebaki amekataa kujichafua? Kwa maana nataka kumuonyesha rehema. I admire the statement. I want to show her. I want to show that family. I want to show that brother the goodness of God. Oh, waweza kuwa umekosa wema wa watu, but today God is talking about kuonyeshwa mema ya Mungu. By the way, what did David mean by mema ya Mungu? Hallelujah. It doesn't matter kama una kashi mogani. Utatoka huko. Naambia ni mtatoka huko. It doesn't matter umefanywa madharau ya aina gani unatoka. It doesn't matter kama macho yako iliharibika unatoka huko. It doesn't matter kama umerushwa mpaka ukawa kiwete kama mefibosethi aliyagushwa na msichana wa kazi akawa kiwete ha hata kama alikuwa kiwete David alisema mimi sijali sijali bora awe ni yeye hata kama ni kiwete aletwe hata kama hana hajui hata kuvaa aletwe paka before said alipokaa akwa are you the one yes from today mariote mashaba yote ile kwa king so is belongs to you can you imagine hallelujah ni kama leo president moi ah vile ameaga nawe kwamba kuna mali yake yote ilichukuliwa na state Account zake za billions ziko South Africa. Account zake sijui ziko Central Rodan. Mashaba yake yote ikachukua state. Leo Ruto aseme, nani amebaki katika nyumba ya Moi? Ni muonyeshe mema ya Mungu. Na serikali iseme account zote za mabillions, mashaba yote, maplot yote all the assets abao president nyanganywa zitapewa huyu na akaba no from today alikuwa kutoka leo daima utakulia mesa ya mfalme are you understanding siko mnaelewa ha <laughs> kuabua kwamba you will serve the table aliabua kwamba any time ninapewa Miu, chakula ya mfalme ni kule we will be eating with you na ni daima the breakfast they offer to the king they offer to me and you hallelujah 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 na kabiwa wema wa mfalme hata nyumba ya kulala vile utakuwa naishi utaishi na fullness of favor mepesa sema mepesa alijita mbwa nani mimi mbwa umeonaji mtu kama mimi kitu kimeisha nitukuke hivyo bwana induliwe how comes but the bible says in jesus name hallelujah daudi mwambiaje usiogope maana bila shaka nitakutendea mema kwa ajili ya Jonathan baba yako amen my god i know 
I sense in the spirit. Kuna baadhi ya watu hapa wazazi wenu walitumikia Mungu na shida na waliaga. I see in the spirit sons of prophets sons of daughters of pastors daughters of prophets sons of prophets here miaka ya zamani injili lipoanza kuna mtu wenu alitumika na shida na aliaga bila baraka and the lord is saying the lord is saying the lord is saying Oh, that prophet who died na mateso kwa sababu ya injiri. That family about iliumia kwa sababu ya injiri. Nani ya mebaki in that family? Ni waonyesha the masses. There are people here. About wazazi wako za mani walikufa kwa sababu ya injiri na mateso makubwa. And God is calling you, saying He is remembering you. Command away to your back in that family. And the fullness of blessing about the work of your family you are receiving now. As any kujitakasa. As any kujitakasa. I hear that. Kuna watu hapa in the line of your family, somebody sacrificed for God. Na hakubalikiwa. And God is saying he is remembering you. Utakapo ona hivo. Jitakase na usu na musaha. Hallelujah. And therefore, one thing that God is going to do is to restore the fullness of blessing about the requires about nizako. The fullness. The fullness of blessing. Hallelujah. Amen. Diabora pili. Kama vile sorry kama vile mnaona mepesedi aliinuliwa Kuna watu in this place umejaribiwa sana umejaribiwa sana umepitia mambo magumu sana paka huku eleweka wewe wewe Mungu amekuona And God is talking about you now A woman in this place Ulisema kama Danieli sitajitia unajisi A man a teenager a youth in this place Mustana wa hii nyumba ya Bwana about isema I will not defile myself Watoto wangu hawatachafuka kwa sababu ya injiri. I want to release this message to you. Jehova amekukumbuka. Nao watu ambao mlisimama na sheria ya Mungu mukasema hatutajichafua. Adika pahali. God has remembered you. Na ukitoka hapa kuna space ya baraka itawekwa wazi for you. And God will give you cap Passed it, located in Jesus' name. Jabra pili la maana sana ni nafasi a space in the promises of God. Ni vizuri uone nafasi ya baraka katika ahadi za buwana. Ukienda 2nd Peter chapter 1 verse 3. Biblia na sema hivi, the word of God says, 2nd Peter Chapter 1, tunasoma aya, aya ya tatu. Haha, ibu tuwazi hapo. Kwa kuwa uweza wake wa ungu. Umetukirimia vitu vyote. Uweza wake wa ungu. Umetukirimia vitu vyote. Haleluya. I hope you are able to access that scripture. Do it quickly, please. Uh, uh, chapter 1, verse 3. His divine power 
has given us all things. Say after me, his divine power has given us all things. Asema uh, tena, uweza wake wa uungu. Umetukirimia vitu vyote. Where are we getting all things in his divine power? Gugu zake za uungu. In his power. In his strength. Umepata vitu vyote. I want to say something here. Hallelujah. The moment the power of God, the moment guvu ya mugu riu, inaaza kazi in your mind, inaaza kazi kwa mikono yako, inaaza kazi katika hatua za maisha yako. Kuna kitu I want to introduce to you. The moment the power of God starts full operation in your heart, Utagudua hakuna kitu jova jakupa. <laughs> hey, hey. The moment the power of God inaza kazi maoni mwako na nafsi yako. Utagudua kwamba hakuna kitu jova jakupa. And now by the grace of God you need to be delivered by the power of God. Kamo gekua na guvu hizo ugejua kwamba umekirimua vitu vyote nasema kama ugeoperate na hizo guvu ugegudua kwamba umekirimua vitu vyote the power of god your command things to open up hallelujah now remember wakati petero aliwaka gerezani you can read that in acts chapter 12 herode akipanga kumuua Na akawekewa vikosi za askari wane wane wane. Na akafungwa migu na mikono. Na akaweko hapo. Herod had planned kumuwa. Na atagazia watu pita about the chief apostle is dead. Nime muwa. Kanisa likaopa kwa juhudi. I like the way it is in King James Version. Sama, and the church and prayer went up without ceasing from the church. Prayer without ceasing went up. Now, the angel of the Lord aliingia kwa jera. Hakuitaji mulango. Hakuitaji notice. Hakuitaji kusalimia anybody. Aligia direct mahali pita alikuwa. Number one, akamgonga kamambia muka. Number two, kamambia simama. Miguyu ikafuguka. Mikono ikafuguka. Akamambia tuende. Walipo anza kuenda, mirango ya chuma ikajifungua yenyewe. Murango wa kwanza wa pili mirango ilikuwa inajifungua I want to tell the truth the power of God is coming into your prison Na kuna command utapewa Kuna command utapewa I say kuna command utapewa Na ukitii utaona minyororo ikianguka chini Utaona mambo ya ukosefu wa pesa ikiisha. Utaona machozi ikiisha. Utaona madedi ikiisha. Pita liyabua simama. Minyoro ikaanguka. Tebea. Minyoro ikatoka. There's a command God is going to give in your prison. Na kia takabia ufanye. Itasababisha chains to fall. Chains you fall. Amen. Wasa guvu ya mungu ikishuka. Inakukirimia ina mambo yote. Ipasavi ya maisha yako. The, his divine power has given us all things that pertains to life and godliness. Hallelujah. Na space ambo imebaki wapendwa ni space ya mutu kuoperate katika divine power. Kwa 
kwamba umeamuka umeomba can you do something make sure just do this pick up a goti every morning oba mpaka usikie sasa his divine power is operating usikia tu hivyo usikia sasa bani nimefika nguvu zake Mungu aliye juu zimenishukia and they are to work the moment you discover that kuna kitu kitatokea kwa akili kuna kitu kitatokea kwa nafsi yako kwamba vitu vyote vipasavyo maisha utasikia kwamba hakuna kitu huwezi pata na vitu vyote vipasavyo utaua kuishi maisha ya uungu hakuna kitu utakosa you need power you need power you need power hallelujah hallelujah nguvu yake uweza waka wa uungu do you have this uweza wake wa uungu sio tamaa ya mtu sio ujaja wa mtu uweza wake wa uungu i say uweza wake wa uungu umetukirimia vitu vyote vipasavyo maisha haya na vipasavyo tabia ya Mungu you have that and by the grace of god you need to operate in power hii mambo ya mtu unaamuka huobi vizuri unajiachilia hivi hivi inakuletea hasara kubwa it's only katika uweza wa Mungu utapata minyororo inati utapata amen utapata mwenye alikuwa azuilie maisha yako you know I remember one thing I've come to discover in time you operate in power utaona mama kubwa sana unaingia ofisi mtu ambaye alikuwa anakupinga kabisa ana shida kwa kupinga anasema ama nebo unaingia pahali ambapo haleluya waje one time niliingia embassy high commission ya britain mtu akaniambia wewe ni nani aha na alikuwa muhindi hao hao issues wameingia maofisi yote britain si kwao na nazuia uende hapana kwao ni idia Nadia kwa kofi asema akasema how are you you can kuniangalia tu uso you can't go where who is the britain ah hata bila kufikiria hiyo ni madhara gani hapana 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 ikabea wa mwingine alikuwa hapa wewe fanya hivi chukua hizi document pate mtu mabia asome nilikataa kutoka hiyo ofisi nilikaa lazima angejua sasa um, ada divine power na nguvu za Mungu zimenikemia kila kitu hata visa na nikakaa hapo na nikakaa na muangalia alipopewa kuniangalia second time sema oh sorry can you please come sorry Mnajua ukienda huko mara ya kwanza lazima ufanywe interview. Mimi si kwenye interview ndio labda sorry just come for your visa saa 8 2 pm. That's all. Wewe ulinyimwa. Wewe hasa ya America dinakuwa kali. America unaangalia tu uso unaambua wewe rudi nyumbani. Yeye wana madharau jameni ovrieto naenda kuchukua visa ya America mnakuwa muko muko watu 200 mnanyimwa wote na mmelipa lot of money Bwana tusaidie sana Hallelujah I don't think ni mwa nyimwa visa ya ene hoya ene hoya na sija wai fanya interview I've never Hello praise God na sio pesa au nini I say it is the divine power ni ya Britain nikakupata mwingine muhindi ah watu wamejaka pale akasema how are you kuniangalia uso tena akaona kama sina pesa akasema do you have money akaambia ateniwekelee pesa yote niko naye kwa mesa nani 
Hapana. Ah, hapana. Nikamwambia please chukua passport, check details, whatever you want, agalia huku na nikaketi nikarasa kulala. Sababu mimi si yedi huko kwao kwa sababu nataka kukuzao za Kenya hata nzuri za kienyeji. <coughs> Akabia, oh sorry, 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 sorry. We, chukua, chukua, chukua. We, enda, 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 enda. You see, do you know kwa ni watu usubuka? Kwa mana kuna nguvu huna. Kuna nguvu huu? Eh? Kuna pahari kwingi sana utapita. Kwa mana nguvu yake ya uungu. Ime kukirimia. Mutu kuambie hutaenda. Lakini unasikia hiyo nguvu hapana inakataa nimekirimiwa hiyo haki mtu akamwambia wewe hutapata kazi but divine power inasema no way hiyo kazi nitapata naomba mwena hizo nguvu his divine power nguvu yake ya uungu imetukirimia vitu vyote numwa haleluya nataka kusikia Mama Kariuki umeangalia nyumba nzuri Westlands umeanza kusikia even this yaweza kuwa yangu because nguvu yake ya uungu inaongea kuhusu ile vitu umekirimiwa ah start owning so many things start owning so many things not because of anything else but because his divine power is speaking nataka kusikia ukiniambia Una maono ya kwenda siku moja kufanya gospel concert England Sio kwa hapa umeenda hata ni kitu tu umeamuka and the divine power spoke Nataka kusikia Kenya una kitu ambacho nguvu ya Mungu ya uungu katika baadhi ya vitu imekukirimia Unaanza kuchukua moja pili Ah tokata ujinga hii wa dunia His divine power his divine power imekukirimia kukirimiwa ni kupewa bure kukirimiwa ni kupewa tu kwa neema kukirimiwa ni kupewa haki ya kuishi na laani wewe umaskini nataka haleluya kama una nguo ya maana ambia shetani hii ni pepo kukosa hii nguo ni pepo kukosa pesa ya kulipa nyumba ni pepo kukosa nauli kukosa pesa ya kulipa deni ni pepo hebu shetani aitwe pepo mzuri we must, we must. Because the Bible is so clear. His divine power. Guvu ya mungu ya ungu. Ime tukimia vitu vyote. Vipasavyo mamawiri. Huduma na kuishi vizuri. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. Nataka kuona wiki hii umeomba mpaka hiyo nguvu inaongea kuhusu vitu kadhaa ambao wamekirimiwa na huko unazijua. Vitu kadhaa ambao wamekirimiwa hata kuingine ukubukwe kama mefiposeze. Haleluya. In Jesus name. Do you know why some brothers and sisters in the church rise up? It's because the divine power spoke. Niliomba nikasikia kuna kitu nguvu ya Mungu inaongea. Haleluya. <coughs> Unafugua biashara. Umefugua biashara kwa kona ya street kwa maana huna pesa. Ulichagua pahali ambapo hakuna market just because of your condition. Let me tell you the truth. Guvu ya Mungu imekukirimia vitu vyote. Hata kufugua biashara mahali kuna wateja. With money or without money you are going you are going there. Nataka kusikia umesukumwa 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 hata kufungua boutique pahali ambapo wewe ni neighbor millionaires. Ni kitu unasikia kinakusukuma for his divine power is speaking. I said the divine power is speaking. Oh, hallelujah. Maya da showroom Pasa Titus ukaanza kuuliza gari ya milioni 20 mpaka mwenye kukuonyesha ficha za hiyo gari anaona kama anapoteza muda Hello nataka wewe tu uvae tu casually where the restaurants 
Wenda Gong Road, command the divine power na kusubua. Unasikia the divine power na sema you should drive the best car. You should have the best suit. You should live well. Unajipata, unauliza nyumba. Umeenda bwana sema nataka nyumba. Wanaagalia mwenye kuuliza. Compare and contrast. Nyumba na muteja. Ah. Hello! Waambia kuna nguvu ambao inaniambia nimekirimwa hivi vitu. And the power you make way for me. The power you clear way for me. The power you clear way for me. Hiyo nguvu inaniambia I cannot withdraw. That's why tukikanyanga ka Gudo Road, the power says this is your church. I remember ni ulizo swali moja na director wa equity bishop are you serious sijui nikamwangalia nikamuliza i'm not only serious nikamwambia the way i feel you may not have a definition of who i am kwa maana nina kitu kinapita hallelujah tukabo hiyo kanisa yenu iko na pesa Iyo kanisa yenu tuataka iwe na 81 million shilling every month. Ikipimwa sijui ni 2 million. But we cannot withdraw. We. Vire kulitoka iyo 2 million, 3 million. Kanisa hii kawa qualified. Kupata loan ya 340 million because ati inaonekana tu na 81 million. Sio magendo na sio uogo. I tell you God made the way. God made the way. God made the way. Ani mama nikuuliza, kauliza watu hivi, nyinyi mnatoka kutoa bia hata una pesa. Unijua mtu akubwa una pesa. Kai, we. Au. Nani anaka pesa? Nani mwingine ako na pesa kama si sisi? Ah, kuna. Haleluya. Kama sasa sasa kasi mekano hii makati zainu haina pesa hii masikini asa apana nikawauliza siku hizi pesa na kwa kwa wapi nasema muniambie where do people keep money nikawabia three quarter ya pesa haiwe kui bank halo leo kiuzia walia kwa mwenye ni uzia kari hapa walia how are you bank bana walikuja na kibahasha Niacha kama wanasema wuu 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 wakagusha midon chuk kaza tupatia fuguwa gari yodi yo pesa kuna my sister alikuwa na wazuzia plot akabia bishop kanisani kuna karumu ya nini tujificha diyo ni pewe pesa kasa wabu wow wanabepa hawaiki kwa bank nikawambia enda pa hapa tu ujificha hapa kwa ofisi yago akaisa buwa 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 leta taito nikawambia sasa are you sure Ata nikawaliza, muna fikiri pesa ya Raira na Ruto ya kampini kwa wapi? Ninyi mkona aza? Kukatoka formula ingine, nikasema makanisa yetu miatano, iyo pesa muna hesabu hapa wiko kwa bank, muhesabu kuna three quarter of money not banked. Haya, divine authority ikawabadrisha. Na iyo mahesabu ikafanywa. Tukawa tajiri by that kind of method. Ikakaribia 70 million. Nikaapo hiyo kumi mebaki, hiyo nina ito miscellaneous. And it worked. Although it was, it ikuwa gumu. Unapitia moto. Ni hile imani kama ya Abraham, akabua tazaa na miakanaite. But, unasikia guvu yake ya uungu. Ime tukirimia ata hiyo kitu. And the power cannot withdraw. I said the power cannot withdraw. The power cannot surrender. The power cannot be silenced. The power cannot stop. Nataka guvu ya ungu. Iwake dani yako. Inaweza chochoto taguza. Kuna fire in you. That cannot be stopped. In Jesus name. Nasema vitu vyote. Nguvu yake ya ungu metukimia vitu vyote. Vipasavyo uzima huu na vipasavyo huduma and that's how the divine power is speaking that's how the divine power is speaking that's how the divine power is speaking in Jesus name 
na kutoka leo nataka uombe mpaka the divine power iaze kazi utajua wewe sio wa bahati usiwa kuchezewa kuna mahali utasikia tu unaingia and the divine power cannot step back kuna mahali utasikia umeingia mtu amekuinuka ya unaona huyu hata niweza kuna mahali utafanywa madharao madharao haikuingii kuna mahali utaitwa jina baya haikuingii kwa maana the divine power in you has a status the divine power in you has a voice the divine power in you ya nena all things belongs to me vitu vyote vinavyonipasa mimi Maisha haya ya kimwili ya kuvana hukura. Na vinavyopasa mimi huduma ya Bwana. Nguvu yake ya uungu imenipa zote. Na and the power in me is so great. I say that power be on you friends. Oba mpaka wake, oba mpaka wake kabisa, oba mpaka nini? Nataka kuona Bwana ulienda interview ukaangalia mtu hivi. Akasema ingia kazi akaweza sikubuki alipitaje ni muangalia nikashidwa kumzuilia let us speak at the let us speak friends ukienda kuchukua visa let that power speak amen ukienda kwa hiyo pano maana nakwambia wewe nani au oh, unawaangalia nasema hata nataka muwe na hiyo nguvu mtu akiingia kwa duka yako he can't he can't escape lazima nunue Umeona umeingia duka ya mtu kujiputa huwezi karibu hata kama huko unanunua unanunua tu simkosee Ah hallelujah Jesus 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 Mwende mkanyange na hiyo nguvu Kanyanga new premises in that power Kanyanga new business that power Hallelujah Kanyanga kanyanga umeingia estate fulani kusupply nguo kuingia tu neighbors wote wanataka nguo zako kwa maana the divine power says you are supposed to get all things hallelujah hallelujah oh hallelujah wapendo wa operate in divine power let us speak in your heart and your mind in jesus name Tutaendelea second service let's start for prayer. Bwana umeniosha moyo kwa damu yako neema ya kutosha ya pati God want to do today. God want to cover you. Umekuwa ukiishi maisha ambayo unasikia hauna security. Anybody or anything enters your territory. God want to put a seal around you. Believe it, believe it now, right now, right now, right now. Umekuwa ukiishi maisha ambayo strange thing just come in and invade your family. God want to cover you now. I said Jesus has come to cover you. Kota bakataraba Shenema. Kuna mambo ya kigeni yameingia watoto wako. Kuna mambo ya kigeni yameingia ndoa yako. Kuna mambo ya kigeni yameingia maisha yako. The Lord want to remove them now, right now. Na kupe security cover, 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 cover. Homa shata pakasa. Sheke teke deba. Rimo seka tapaposa. Rima sakata rima bosa. God cover you. God cover you now. You are saying today it is me. Unashuhudia kwamba there's a cover huna. 
mambo imekuwa ikija tu mtu anafikiri kukuinukia mapigo inakuja inakuingilia tu listen today god is commanding any foreign satanic thing to get out and from today he covers you you are saying it's me nimepitia haya na kwa ibada ina mkono tu juu mahali huko father in the name of jesus by the anointing of the holy spirit i throw out i now throw out i now cast out every attack of the devil every satanic thing or spirit get out of that family get out of that youth get out of that body get out of that life ibilisi lazima unisikia leo na kuamuru toka get out satan get out i said get out now toka kwa hiyo biashara kwa hiyo doa kwa hiyo kijana kwa hiyo masomo get out satan na my agent yote mko kitumia na maroho itoke sasa hali zote za tamaza kisa zitoke sasa oh god make your people peaceful make your people prosperous make your people pure let them be kingdom children in the name of just christ wapendo ina mikono mabia bwana i receive your cover lord i receive your peace i receive your presence lord i receive i receive oh god uko kwa ibada hii leo kuna jambo maisha ni mwako limekaa likiwa stubborn there's an issue in your family there's an issue in your life personally limekaa likiwa na ugumu fulani na upingamizi fulani kuna kitu kimekataa kubadilika kuna gome kuna kuna nguzo ya, ya, ya upingamizi ambao imekatalia mbele yako You are struggling with a very hard stubborn issue. Ambao anytime you wake up inasimama mbele yako kama mlima. Jesus want to appear. I say Jesus want to appear. I say Jesus wants to appear. Kama vile Yesu aliingia inchi ya wagerasi, mahali kulikuwa na mtu ako na pepo maelfu na kuna mtu agemweza hakuna mtu agemshika that man controlled that area but when jesus stepped in u jamali anguka miguuni mwake na pepo zikamtoka i say leo si wewe unaonekana jesus want to step in that area and i want to tell you something in chochote kimekuwa kinakupinga kuna murangu umekataa kufunguka kuna ungumu ambao umekuwa mbele yako right now jesus is stepping there and a masha tapoka rika posota yes kuna mtu alikuwa akitumika hapo na pepo anakana ungumu anayeyuka sasa na inama kuna roho ya giza ilikuwa inaongea sasa iko kila kiko ni njia kuna mlimo ulikuwa umewekewa ya kuzuia upite kuna jambo likuwa limewekwa i want you to rejoice because there is now clear in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god in the name of jesus the son of the living god in the name of jesus the son of the living god in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god your way is now clear ulikuwa unajaribu kufikiria na shida atakufikiria because of heaviness now you are mighty set free unasema yes it's me kuna jambo limekuwa so stubborn likinipinga nataka sasa kuamini kama umeamini nato mikono yako kwa bwana yes shukuru bwana isuo mashatara ba koshete nema shukuru mungu na wasio na msaha let it be serious just tell god thank you 
Tell God thank you. Hilo jambo litaje? Namwambia baba nakushukuru umetenda hii, umetenda hii, umetenda hii, umetenda, umetenda, umetenda. O tabaka shataraba. Sherere basaya. We worship you, we worship you Lord. We give you praise our Father. 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 We give you praise our Lord. 